go to school? Uh, I went to Endicott College in Beverly, Massachusetts. Um, they had like a small TV station, there's like 2,000 kids, it wasn't a big school. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they, um, you know, we had like a TV station, so I did play by play for football, basketball, and uh, we had like a weekly news, they you know, had like sports for that, so, so it was good. Cool. And then five internships when I was there, so it was, it was good. That was another thing. Yeah. Um, so once you're done with college, yeah. how did you get your foot in the door and get your experience? Um, well, I did I did five internships. I did four when I was in school, and then I did another one right like two days after I graduated with a uh, independent baseball team in Connecticut, like their radio stuff. And, um, and so my advice is that you know you're going to have a lot of unpaid jobs or poorly paying jobs. Take them because you're going to get a lot of experience there and meet people. Um, I mean, I've worked with guys back when I interned when I was a freshman in college that are now working with Fox Sports 1 as producers that, you know, not that I need a new job now. I'm very excited to be here. But, uh, but you know, you never know. It's, it's a small world, and every, you, you always run across people, so don't, don't burn any bridges. Did you write your own scripts when you were in college? Uh, yeah, I tried to. That's that's another. That's a good point. Yeah, because I think that I mean, you know, you get to a, to uh, there are certain times when you're coming out of break and news breaks and they put something in the prompt you got to roll with it. But um, if you can write your own stuff, that's the best thing because a you're gonna you're gonna write the way you speak. So when you're reading it on air, it's gonna sound like you. Um, you're also you're gonna know what's there. You know, you're gonna know what's coming. And uh, you know, if you ever are asked to write, you'll, you'll have the practice of doing it. So I would definitely recommend it. I'm uh, always trying to write your thought it was. Also, Paul, not, not only is one of our hosts, he actually is called the Arizona Hall Weekends that were on the So who is, I guess, tell us your preparations from being a host and then being, I guess, a broadcaster. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're completely obviously different skill sets, you know, I mean, the way that MLB tonight is, it's, it's generally unscripted anyway, so, uh, I mean, here it's great, I was at ESPN for five years before this, and uh, that's completely different, because, you know, you've you got to be on top of every single sport, but here we can kind of get really locked into baseball, so, um, you know, know your subject matter as best you can, uh, that goes if you're on camera behind the scenes, because, you know, a lot of times we're, we're relying on producers or uh, researchers to kind of give us stuff kind of, you know, at a moment's notice. So if you're, if you're if you know your subject matter, uh, again, no matter what side of the camera you're on, it's going to help, so help the whole process. Because it's, it's more than just three or four guys that are up on the set here uh, for MLB tonight or doing games or whatever the case is. It's, uh, it's, it's a team effort for sure. Um, when were you first inspired that you wanted to be a broadcaster? Like, when did you first, like, realize that, like, like, I want to be a broadcaster. Uh, probably when I was, like, seven years old, to be honest with you. Because I was, I, was, uh, I was the doofus that was, like, playing video games and, like, announcing the video games in my bedroom. And, like, I remember we got, like, a, like a new freezer or whatever, like, like a standalone freezer, and I saved a big box, and I cut it out and made, like, a sports desk. Oh, swear to God. And, uh, and my mom... <laughs> I mean, she helped me too. So, uh, so, she, so I cut it out, put it in my room, and I'm sitting there. And I'm like announcing the video games that I'm playing, and she, she always tells me the story. She's like, "I heard you. I, your door was closed, but I heard you, and I just knew." So, uh, you know. And then when I found out that it was like actually a job, it never really occurred to me that you could like be on camera and talk about sports and then get paid for it until I was like seven or eight years old. And my buddy or my mom's best friend's son was 13, a little older than me. He was starting to kind of think about a career. And, uh, and he said, yeah, I might go to college and do communications. I said, what is that? And so I was like, broadcasting. I said, wait, you get paid for that? So I was like, all right, that's, 